Hey guys, we are back with some more Toronto GM mode. Last time we swept the Boston Bruins in four games, which was incredible, honestly. And something I noticed when I was looking at the playoff tree to end off last episode, Anaheim and Arizona are facing each other, right? Now, that may not seem like a big deal. However, if you remember in the offseason, well, I mean, uh, it, it wasn't uploaded because, you know, the video had corrupted itself. But in the offseason, we traded uh, Connor McDonald to the A Arizona Coyotes. Now, if you notice, Connor McDonald is not <laughs> in Arizona's defensive core, even though he's like an 84, 85 overall. He's on Anaheim. <laughs> the, uh, he's on the third pair. So that makes Anaheim's defensive core really like dangerous offensively. Shea Theodore, Max Ledroit, uh Hampus Lindholm, Simone Dupre, Connor McDonald, and Rasmus Anderson, I believe that is. So, I mean, that's almost filthy. Uh, and then they finally got their superstar forward in Davison as a 90 overall. Quick 85, Arneson 84. The Anaheim Ducks are looking pretty filthy. Uh, the only thing they're missing is a star goaltender, but they still got a decent one in there at, at uh, an 84, Frederick, Frederick Anderson. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's shaping up to be a really interesting Stanley Cup final if we can get there. And it, it, uh, it's uh, and if it's a rematch against the Anaheim Ducks, because remember, uh, I believe we won against the Anaheim Ducks either the first or the second time. Because, I mean, obviously we've only won the Stanley Cup two times in this GM mode, but still, it, it's shaping up to be a really uh, fantastic storyline we got here in the year 10 playoffs. So, with that being said, let's check out the New York Islanders. All right, so, <laughs> of course. So, first line, Jeff Skinner, John Tavares, and Holt. So, an all-sniper first line. So, that could potentially be dangerous, but it could also, it may not work. But I guess they're in the second round for a reason. Second line, Raddy, Barzil, and Strom. Not the strongest second line I've ever seen, but I can imagine them possibly getting it done especially with the uh, help of Strom there and maybe Raddy gets all the goals I don't know uh third line actually doesn't look that bad Prince uh Anderson Dolan <laughs> and Mallet so I mean pretty solid pretty solid not the best third line I've ever seen but again it's uh solid and fourth line actually doesn't look that bad. Wilford, 81, Monahan, 82, and Nelson, 80. So pretty gritty uh, fourth line there. But otherwise, it looks like this is an all-offensive team. And that uh, two-way forward there may even be like an offensive two-way forward. And then the power forwards may have good shots or whatever. So it looks like a offensive uh, forward core here in New York. Defensively, so... No stu uh, no standout uh, stud on defense, but they got depth. I'll give them that. They got they got Finn 86, Green 85, Gormley 85, Letty 85, Pulock 85, and Watherspoon 83. So no one fantastic, but no one uh, dreadful either. So, I mean, if, if they had like an 88, 89 somewhere in there, I'd be a little more uh, intimidated by it, but... I mean, they do have John Tavares, so maybe that, maybe that boosts up all their offensive defensemen to like an 88. Who knows <laughs> with this game. Goaltender-wise, doesn't really matter who they have in the net. They will always have a good goaltender, Fevelainen or Soderstrom, 87 and 86. So, I don't know what to make of this series. It, it's, it's probably dependent on John Tavares, how he performs, so we really need to shut him down. And it, we also... It also depends on how their goaltenders perform. So, really could go either way here, obviously. And when you take a look at our lines, compare. Um, we have, we don't have the 95, but we have two 90 overall studs on the first line. We got an 87 as well. Uh, we got a well-rounded second line. We got a decent third line. I mean, I might have to give the third line to them just because of the overall. Uh, and then... I'd say, i say, actually, I'd say bottom six is more of a tie. And I gotta give the first line to them just because John Tavares. But then again, we have the two 90s and they have two mid overall 
mid mid eighty overall guys there. So I I don't know. I don't know. It's as I said, it's going to depend on John Tavares. And it's going to depend on our first line performing, and it also depend on the goaltenders Gibson and Bevelainen and if they decide to put their backup in there. Because I know their backup is only like one overall point worse than their starters. So and that's not really that much of a difference in this game. So I guess with that being said. Let's get on to game one of round number two. Here we go, boys. In Toronto, facing the New York Islanders. Let's go. First period. All right, so, yeah, pff, John Tavares. Uh, I mean, it's a 1-1 tie, but I don't like the fact that John Tavares got on the board that early in this series. That's that's not promising. <laughs> that's not promising. Paul Jarvi got it for us. They have Bevelainen in there, so let's go. Second period. All right, there we go. There we go. Kucherov a two. Uh, one at the start of the second, one around the, the end of the second, so that's good. Around the same spot of the ice, actually, too. One on the left side of the slot, one in the, in the middle, so. Hopefully we can continue this trend here. We got 30 shots on goal compared to 19, so come on, boys. Third period. Come on, boys. We gotta get a good start to this uh, series here. Holt. <sighs> Tavares might have gotten an assist there. <sighs> I'm not liking that, but there you go. Max Domi on the power play. I was about to say tie. <laughs> and there you go. 4-2 to two for the Toronto Maple Leafs in game number one. Very nice. Pull Jajari from Harper and Barry. Kucherov from Godobin. Kucherov from Harper and Godobin. And then Domi from Riley and Carrick. Very nice. Okay, so game number two. Here we go. <sighs> Come on, boys. I mean, I know it's nothing to get too excited over, but, you know, considering it's only game one. But uh, nonetheless, it's... A, ga a game, A advantage, an advantage, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. First period, come on boys, get off to a good start. Uh, not a good start. <laughs> Ryan Strom, I mean, at least, I would imagine John Tavares wasn't, in, wasn't involved on that play, unless they're on the same power play lines, I didn't take a look at that, but but uh, that's not a power play goal, so I guess we'll see what happens. Second period. Yeah, oh, yikes. John Tavares. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. John Tavares is absolutely lighting it up in this series so far. Kucherov and Harper for us, but uh, Pulak as well. So, all right, boys. We got a period to get to and possibly more. So, come on, boys. Yeah, it's not looking good. Already halfway through the period and no goals. Yeah, all right, all right. That's... Fair enough. I mean, they got John Tavares, so that it only makes sense that they win a game or two. Hopefully not two. <laughs> uh, especially back-to-back. -back. All right. Game number three, going back to the aisle. Long Island. They have home ice advantage now, so not looking good. Come on, boys. We got to give ourselves an advantage somehow in the first period. Come on, boys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. We got our goals, goals start, blah, 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 goal scorers going, but uh, same with theirs. On the power play, Ty Ratty and uh, Seth Griffith for us. So, second period. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Domi on the power play. Skinner. Pull to Jarvi. Go uh, Gormley on the power play. Hall. Domi. Skinner. I mean, ba seesaw back and forth action right there in the second period. What a game so far. Come on, boys. Keep that lead. There you go, Seth Griffith once again. Very nice. He's stepping up big in this game. Come on, boys. Hold that two-goal lead. Get me an insurance marker. <laughs> Matt Finn. Not liking it. There you go, Pulcher Jarvi. Third line stepping up big this game. And there you go, 7-5. What a game. <laughs> and uh, we take a 2-1 series lead. Griffith from Riley and Day. Domi from Riley and Hull. Uh, Pulcher Jarvi from Griffith. Hall from D Goldobin and Domi. Domi from Hall and Nylander. Griffith from Trocek and Puljujarvi. And Puljujarvi from Barry and Riley. A bunch of depth scoring in that game. Love it. All right. <laughs> uh, game number four. Come on, boys. Let's get a 3-1 series lead here. Come on now. <laughs> Don't let this go to six games. Just take care of it while you can. First period. Uh, Higgins. Come on, boys. Got to get it done here in this second period. We're out shooting them 11-7, uh, to 7, so get it done. All right, there you go. Taylor Hall on the power play. Don't want to get too excited just yet. We're still in the tie. Heading into the third. There you go, Kucherov. 
Okay, we have the one goal lead, but they're on the power play now. Killed it off. Very nice. Come on, boys. Yes, Trocek. Okay. Okay. I'll work with it. We got a two goal lead halfway through the third period. Come on, boys. Shut her down. Yes, boys. <laughs> we got a 3-1 lead, as the score says on that game. Hall from Domi and Riley. Kutrov from Riley. Trocek from Riley and uh, pulled to Jarvi. Riley got assists up all goals that game. All right, boys. We have three opportunities to close this series out, but let's not give them anything. Let's just close it out right here, right now. Let's go at home against the New York Islanders. Come on. Game number five. Here we go, to boys. At Toronto. Let's go. First period. Our <laughs> okay, two power play goals. Strom and Kucherov. Second period. <laughs> oh, boys. Oh, boys, I'm not liking the way this is looking. They are shooting us by six. By a margin of six, I believe. Six or seven. Um, I really should have just said 23 to 16 because I would have sounded smarter that way. <laughs> All right, so one-to-one -one tie. Come on, boys. Third period. Power play. Ah, oh, man. At least we're getting more shots now. Power play. Come on, boys. There you go. Carrick on the power play. Very nice. From the slot. Top of the slot. And yes, we win. Yes. We're off to round number three, boys. Kucherov from Nylander and Carrick from Goldobin in the third period. What a clutch goal. Yes. Riley with 11 assists in the playoffs. All right. Let's see what we have. In, uh, oh, pfft. As soon as things start looking up for us, John Gibson is injured till June 4th. I don't believe it. That's like, uh, that may not even, uh, that may be like game five, game six of the finals. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not good at all. Why, Gibson? <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, that is not good at all. We got to trust Raymakers here, boys. On all accounts, we gotta just. Oh, we gotta roll with Raymakers. That is not good. That is not good. <laughs> Ugh. So, what I thought would have been a good, good ending to this episode turns out to get not so great. <sighs> we just lost our star goaltender for the majority, if not all, of the playoffs. Oh my God! All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let's see what we have in the third round. Whoever it is, obviously they... I mean, they got to the third round, so they're probably going to be a good team. So, all right, let's 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 see. Looks like Dallas and, and uh, Nashville in the West, and we got Buffalo. All right, all right. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they have a pretty solid forward core. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Uh, I, I, I don't know, boys. I really don't know. <laughs> it may be uh, borderline series here with Buffalo coming up. All right, let's see. Let's see. Riley, 11 points. Harper, Domi, 10 points each. Nylander, Kucherov, 9 points each. So we get a lot of point-per-game players here in the playoffs, which is excellent. I love that. Uh, Goldobin, 7 points, or 7 assists, rather, as well. Uh, Poljujari with 4 goals, 6 points. Barry with uh, 6 points. Carrick with 5 points. Hall with 5 points. Wish Hall would do a bit more, but you know what? We got a lot of depth scoring going on right now, so I don't really care who's scoring as long as we are scoring. <laughs> Murphy and Tenorti still pointless. Whatever. Um, well, I mean, they're not useless, obviously. But, yeah, Raymakers, buddy, I'm going to need you to <laughs> keep that goals against average below one. I'm going to need you to play <laughs> tremendous over these next two series. Raymakers, buddy, I I need I need you now more than ever. It's the it's year ten, the final series, or the final two series in Toronto. I I, I need you to step up big time, buddy. <laughs> I know this is putting you on the spot, but uh, Toronto needs you. You you will be remembered. I promise you. If 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 we can win the Stanley Cup, you will be remembered <laughs> in Toronto. Oh, boys. I'm not looking forward to this series. I'm really, <laughs> I'm putting all of, we're putting all of our faith into uh, Raymakers here. Let's check out the playoff tree. All right, so 
Turns out Arizona won that series, so we won't have to rematch against Anaheim and Connor McDonald. And Buffalo won against Carolina in five. Uh, Dallas beat Nashville in seven. Arizona beat Anaheim in seven. And obviously we beat the Islanders in five. So, I mean, (laughs) we're in the top four. But the injury to Gibson, man, I I really don't know. (laughs) <laughs> how that'll turn out Toronto Buffalo Dallas Arizona here we go boys the final four see you guys in the next one